think he can't do that. Do you believe, after spending so much time with him, that he is mentally unwell, as some of his aides have said? No, I think he's very frustrated. He thinks the election was stolen. I think he's uh, got some very bad advisors around him that push ideas that are not sound. I think the president um, has got good people around him now. I think Mark Meadows and Pat Cipollone and others are giving him good counsel and good advice. Uh, I am here today to answer your questions, to say what I think. I think the best thing the president can do is encourage a transition to be peaceful, to be professional, and to use the voice he has in the next 14 days to talk about his successes and to bring us together. He's, he has a voice, and I would like him to use that voice to bring us together and to focus on his accomplishments. And uh, we're going to soon have a new president. I promise to work with Vice President Biden to the extent I can. There's things we can do, and there are things we're not going to be able to do. He hasn't been there for the last four years. What makes you think he can do it in the last 14 days and bring people together? Well, I think he has, uh, in the last four years, accomplished major things. Now, in terms of a personal style, he's been divisive. Uh, all I can say is that many of us on the conservative side believe that the coverage of President Trump has been over the top. I was here during the, the Obama years. Um, good example. Uh, the Mueller investigation you covered breathlessly turned out not to be the event that it was billed to be. And when we looked at the abuse at Department of Justice and the FBI, you found it in the obituary page. Um, that Fox, now y'all covered it for the most part. Uh, that's a double standard. I think uh, the problems that Hunter Biden have, if a Trump had done those things, would be front page news everywhere. So there's a lot of people on my side of the aisle who believe that the president, uh, the way he's been covered has contributed to a lot of discourse. And uh, y'all have lost the mainstream media, Senator, conservative America, and you got to ask why.